Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So, um, I just want to make this um, quick video on how to downgrade your software on your iPhone, so, or iPod Touch. So, if you want to downgrade firmware from, like, 4.0 to 3.13 or something like that, then you can do this. So, first, what you want to do is you want to download a program called, a program called Tiny Umbrella. I'll have a link to it in the description, but you want to start it up and all that crap, and you'll get a screen like something like that or something like that. Yeah. And then, next, you want to put your iPod in recovery mode. So, to do that, all you have to do is um, take your iPhone, make sure it's off, okay? And then you want to hold down the home button when it's completely off and plug the cable in. But make sure the other end of the cable is plugged into the computer. Then you'll get a screen like that. And eventually you'll get a recovery connect to iTunes symbol, whatever you want to call it. And your computer will recognize it as in recovery mode. But, let's get closer. Under recovery devices, you'll have iPhone or whatever your device is. Click on that. It'll come up all this crap. I mean, it means nothing, none of this. Click save, SH, SH. And this device is connected. And just wait a minute until it's fully connected, and it'll, it will say this device is connected without the loading symbol. And... There you go. So next, what you want to do is you want to start that TT, the TSS server. Just click start. Now, do, now you can minus out of this um, program, but I want you to start up iTunes. Okay. And it will say your iPod's in recovery mode and crud like that. And so you want to click shift and restore. And choose your own software. So I have all these different firmwares as you can see. I don't want to restore my iPod, but just click one, click open, and it will start restoring. Now, you will get a 1015 error. Um, I guarantee it, most likely. So... Don't worry about it. What I want you to do is when you get the 1015 arrow near the end of it, open up Tiny Umbrella and click Stop SHS, uh, TSS Server. And then I want you to click Exit Recovery. And this will kick your device out of recovery and it will start it up with whatever software you were trying to downgrade before, when you got the 1015 error. And it works all the time. It's a great, great tool to use. I use it a lot. But, um, that's how you do it. Short and to the point, I tried to make this video. But, um, if you have any questions, just comment below. Rate the video. Subscribe. Um, you can... I'll try to put some, um, links to firmwares in the, um, description. But, I don't know if I can get any, but I'll try. Um, thank you for all watching.